Hey, so I was talking to a girlfriend this week about uh, some struggle that she's having in her business and uh, something that she's really wrestling with and she keeps putting off again and again and again. And when we got down to the root of it, she said, I think the reason I'm putting it off is because I have this fear that if I put my opinion out there, then I'm going to be held to account for it. Not so much that people will disagree with me, but that if somebody comes back to me in three years' time and I've changed my mind, I don't want to be held to what I was thinking three years ago. And so we're having a bit of a laugh about just this whole mind game that goes on. And it occurred to me that it's something that I see again and again and again when we try and make change in organizations as well. And that we can sometimes get really scared to make that move or to make that decision because we're worried that we're going to be in some way held to it and attached to it for the rest of forever. Uh, and that's not the case. So it it reminds me of when I used to work for a wonderful consulting firm over in Melbourne called ThoughtWorks. And we used to have this thing that we would say about strong opinions loosely held. And the culture within that organization was very much about uh, it, have an opinion voice it. But equally, uh, people would be quite willing to change their opinion if they came into contact with information to the contrary or they found something new. Uh, we were quite happy to switch at that point, take on that new idea and run with it again. Uh, and it's I, it strikes me that it's one of those things that's really critical if we're starting to talk about building a workplace that embraces positive conflict and embraces the diversity and the discourse that we need to make better decisions. And it also reminded me of um, a great little tool that I'd come across, I don't remember when, but it was talking about three stages of learning and how uh, when you first come up with, uh, with an idea or you first start learning a concept, you'll often hold on to verbatim what your teachers are talking about and you'll sort of, you, you need to... Um, hold on to those ideas and, and really sort of parrot things back. And there's, there is a line and we, we follow the rules and we follow the guidelines because we're trying to learn the system and the method. And then we get a little bit further on in our understanding. And at that point, we're able to parrot back the texts um, from others and we're, we're less open to absorbing new information and we start to ask others to play by the same rules that we're playing by because that's the new method and we've decided that this is now the right way to do things. This is now the new way of working. We get really rigid in just preaching these rules and the, that, that replicating of the, the textbook and the parroting back of those rules becomes really quite entrenched. And then as we move a little further along down the path, what we often find is that people get to a place where they understand the, the rules, they understand the concepts, but they're a lot more fluid in the way that they will go about interacting with other people. And so it's okay to have challenge at that point because you're anchored in a foundation of understanding the concepts um, of this particular idea set or this way of working. Uh, you've digested them to a point that you understand beyond the words on the page. You, you understand the meaning around them and you've made it real for yourself. You've had life experiences where these things have played out and you've been able to learn um, on a deeper level those those foundational um, parts of, of these new ideas. And so that's that's become part of you and who you are. You can kind of ground into that. And then the challenge comes from various directions, but you welcome the discourse because at that point you're grounded in knowing what you know, but you've also learned that probably know very little in the greater scheme of things and you're ready to open up for those new ideas and those those new thinking uh, to come in and, uh, and, and then to grow and evolve from there. And so if I think back to my girlfriend who's sitting there going, oh, I don't want to be held on to this for too long. I don't, I don't want to be attached to this forever. Uh, I, I, I really love that idea of strong opinions loosely held. Go out there, put your opinion out there, try it. If it doesn't work or you learn something new along the way, then we can jump onto that and run with that idea. But don't ever lose that passion and that fire 
and start backing off because you're worried that you're going to be held to account to something for years and years to come. Things change. We know that. So uh, I'm Janelle Jones. Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And uh, go out there and smash some goals this week.